Good. Oh, I got food on my face. <laughs> Good morning, folks. This is AJ, the CEO. I am here at church right after dropping my daughter off at daycare, and we're gonna be here all day and all night because we got choir rehearsal, and we're gonna see what else we get into. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. This is another day in the life of a media ministry, <laughs> volunteer, Christian entrepreneur, musician, computer geek, plus, 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 and all that other stuff. So um, yesterday we moved over the NDI player that I built with an Intel Nook from the security room into the multi-purpose room. And it looks like when I remoted in, everything was working fine. So I'm just gonna make sure the performance is fine with that um, when the kids are not watching the TV. I'm gonna do other little work around the church and as well as getting ready for choir rehearsal. I brought all the parts for the computer so of upgrading our video editing PC. So I'm gonna start doing that. And it looks like there was an issue last night when I ordered the stuff, so I'm going to have to order it again. I'm probably going to order it from Amazon instead. Um, it looks like <laughs> I got an email that stuff was out of stock and it wasn't going to be here until like two weeks and uh, we're not doing that. So, you know, let's get inside and see what we can get into today. All right, in prep for upgrading this computer, what I'm going to do is back up and make a recovery um, instance or a session or whatever you want to call it of everything that's installed on windows in its current state so worst case scenario i could always put everything back in the system and just restore it now again what i think i'm going to do is technically i really have everything to do to move the system right now i'm just going to take the parts out of the live streaming system and i would, should be able to do that because worst case scenario i could pick up the processor Another processor from Best Buy. Honestly, let me be honest, I didn't buy it in Best Buy because they just decided to ignore me and they didn't want my business. So I would go to a different Best Buy. Um, I don't give business to people who just ignore people. Me and my daughter were standing there. You ignore me and go to somebody else that came behind us. Okay, I'll take my business somewhere else. But worst case scenario, I can move everything over to this system, get the Ryzen 5 1600, everything installed excuse me, the motherboard and the memory. Worst case scenario, instead of it being 16 gigs in here, I can put eight here, put eight in the other one, and just get that Ryzen um, 3200G and put it in there, and then our live streaming setup will still work. Um, or worst case scenario, I can always just bring my portable system and live, <coughs> excuse me, woo, and live stream Sunday if the parts haven't come in in time. So that's the plan. But let's go ahead and back this system up and let's move. All right, so let me get my food up out of here. <clears throat> oh, and I left my stuff over here. So don't let the box fool you. This is the newer um, Asus RLG Strix that I have in my home video editing system, but the original um, one is in here, the plate. Now, what I forgot is I actually, not an NVMe, but I have an M.2 um, left over from when I upgraded my um, mini ITX streaming PC. So granted, it's still the same size, but I think this will give better performance compared to the SSD. So what I'm gonna do while I'm doing this is I'm gonna, um, do a comparison on what uh, the speeds of an SSD compared to an M.2. Not an NVMe, but just a regular M.2. And honestly, since they're both the same size, I'm just gonna go with whichever one is the faster um, one. So this will be a good learning example um, on which one you would get. Is it better just to stick with a regular 2.5 SSD or move to an M.2 that's not an NVMe or ultimately an NVMe. Um, so I was watching, somebody just came in. What else? The air conditioner is turned on. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is I already made a, um, a restore point here on the system. I'm gonna pull out the processor and 
I'm only going to take one stick of memory out of that system. Take one stick of memory out, drop it in here, and then let's start building. I think I got everything in place. Um, it's just a reminder of, <laughs> I have a reminder of why I wanted to get another case. Um, there's no USB 3.0 on here. Um, also, I have a type C, but I ended up putting back the additional USB 3.0 and um, type C add-on card because I forgot the extra, um, blanks to go here in the PCIe slots. I have a bunch of those at home that I forgot to bring with me so I can cover this up and I'm also probably going to switch all of them out with solid ones because I know it has holes to let air in here but it's a lot of dust up here and a lot of this stuff is building in here so I think we're good to go. So now we just got to test and make sure everything comes on. Now I already know it's probably going to have a little hiccup with um, windows and all that other stuff like that but i do have a digital license i literally just replaced everything else is the same except for the motherboard so i'll just be prepared to call microsoft and let them know so i can get a new code if i have any problems so let's go ahead and get everything turned on and on a side note i know it's nitpicky but i have the ryzen 5 sticker on that system and I still have an FX sticker on this one. I know it sounds small, but I'm probably <laughs> gonna go ahead and get um, the Ryzen 5 16, um, 1600. I was thinking about that. <laughs> now I'm about ready to re rethink that again. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably still, cause I tested last night, the Ryzen 3 1200 which is in our presentation system and I was able to live stream because again the bulk of all the work was being handled by the GPU um, so that should be more than enough but I still have a problem with my sticker I need to order some Ryzen stickers um, but anyway I'm probably gonna move the 1200 into this system I will still get the 3200G, put that in the presentation system. And I think we should be good. Yeah, I should be able to order that other CPU and pick it up today if it's in stock. Um, and then at least I won't have anything out of commission. The only thing that would be different is I would be down in memory across all the systems. This one, because no one's really video editing with it, they really won't notice the difference for right now. Um, but hey, because the only thing they use this for is the ATEM software. But anyway, enough of me rambling. Let's get this <clears throat> plugged in and get Windows and everything up and running. All right, everything came up fine. Now I just need to uninstall the old software and possibly do a reactivation because it noticed this stuff is different. 
Oh, no. Activated perfectly fine. Yes. So that's one less thing I have to worry about. Awesome. So now I just need to uninstall the old MSI software and we should be good. All right, so while I'm installing this, what we're gonna do is test out the performance on this SSD. And I'm gonna use the Blackmagic hard drive testing um, app on there. And it did detect the M.2. What I'm gonna use is the same software I've used before, um, Easy US Backup, um, I forget the name of it, but I'm gonna, because the drives are the exact same size, I'm gonna clone that drive, the main drive, after testing it, to the M.2 drive, then go back in the BIOS and say it's gonna boot from that instead of the SSD, and then make sure everything works, which reminds me, I shouldn't have put the panel on the side, because what I like to do is actually disconnect the hard drive, the old SSD, just to make sure everything boots up fine, and then we go from there, because if that works, I have another SSD I can do something with later on. <clears throat> All right, so I physically disconnected the SATA cable to the SSD, so it's not gonna pick up anything. Excuse the dust. I need to get in there and clean it. I left my can of air at home. Um, I took out one of the sticks of memory, which I'm gonna be putting in the presentation system so that everything's working and we'll be ordering the additional memory soon. But now we got everything, so let's go ahead and start it up, we'll see if it boots. All right, it picked up the drive. And we're gonna log in and just make sure every, oh, everything came up. Let's log in here. And again, because the drive is exactly the same, nothing should be different in any way. All right, so what we're gonna do is remove this fan completely, and this is where the radiator is gonna go. Um, let's see, I got this pin because there's a plate here that the screws and it fell down so I don't want to take the whole motherboard out just to get access to that so I just pop that up with this pin for right now um, this should be pretty easy so let's go ahead I mean like I have an AIO on my home computer and I've used multiple ones so let me set up the other camera because this is going to be difficult with one hand Picking up our memory, CPU 3.6, all right. I was looking for the name. It normally will say the name. CPU configuration, yeah, there you go. Ryzen 3 3200G with Vega graphics. Yep, picked it up, awesome. So let me close up everything. Well, actually, let me, all right, it's saying the fan is maxed out, which isn't a problem because the fan is actually plugged into the, it's the pump for the AIO is plugged into the header on the motherboard. So that's fine that if it's saying it's ramping all the way up, no problem with that. 
memory is only clocking at um, 2133 so let's go ahead and change that all right, so I got almost everything done over here from a computer standpoint that I can, minus ordering the more memory, um, which I will take care of that later. I was gonna, I'm sorry, just pause for a second because I was gonna say, if I buy memory, I forgot I took 16. So anyway, <laughs> rambling thoughts. So again, in this system, we're gonna order some more memory. This stick of memory is actually goes into the video editing system. That would be 16. We're gonna get 16 for this one and then the streaming system over there is just going to stay at eight um no real need to go to that right now i'm gonna find out what we're going to do with this most likely this is going to become the streaming machine in the chapel so i will take out the deck link mini out of this system put it in here and get a deck link mini 4k to go over here um that's just future stuff now Actually, let me take that back. I'm not going to do that because, and I don't need a capture card for this, because the idea is to put the A10 Mini over there, which is going to run in through USB into the system. So really all I need to do, and I have the hard drive that I need to take out that system that we're not using anymore now that we're running on um, the M.2, that will give me the hard drive so technically I need to find a case around here somewhere that has a power supply um, SATA connections hopefully um, if not I have to just get an adapter for that and that's really it the only thing we need is the A10 mini and then all the other live streaming stuff has been taken care of all right so I just finished a little musicians rehearsal with a couple of people of the band I got about two hours before I normally get here for choir rehearsal. Choir rehearsal starts at set. Well, excuse me. We pray in for choir rehearsal at 6:50. Choir rehearsal starts at seven. So, I'm going to pick up the little one. We're going to get some food, hang out for a little bit, and then we are back here to do rehearsal. Yay! Um.